So Google just released a new update of Jules. What is Jules? Jules is an asynchronous AI coding agent. What does asynchronous mean? So apparently asynchronous means that it can handle multiple tasks at the same time. The way this tool actually works is very different than all other existing AI code editors. So you can directly connect your GitHub repository with this tool and then you can ask for like certain sort of tasks. Let's suppose if you want to add a new feature, you can just ask this tool to add new feature on this GitHub repository. So this tool works on background and then completes its tasks. The way this tool works is very similar to Devon. What is Devon? Devon is world's first AI software engineer if you don't know about that. So this is basically Devon and when Devon was initially released it was for like $500 per month. So Jules is kind of an alternative of Devon and now due to these new updates there are a lot of features that actually makes Jules a better tool. Also they have now introduced like different plans. There is a pro plan and then there is this ultra plan but you can for sure use free plan and you can perform 15 tasks per day and also it will use Gemini 2.5 Pro which is kind of a good model when it comes to writing code. So before we dive deep and explore all of these different features that Jules has just released please just make sure that you subscribe to this youtube channel and click on that like button as well all right so here are different features that jules has just released the first one is jules can now surf the web that means now jules can go through all of the different documentations to make sure that it makes less errors also if there are new versions of libraries and dependencies jules can also search about that because most of the times whenever there is a new update on a library so it can actually cause conflict with other libraries and dependencies so that problem can now be solved and jules can search internet to learn about all of these different problems there is another feature which is called interactive plan so instead of jumping straight into the solution Jules can now read your code base ask clarifying questions and work with you to refine the plan so what this feature does it goes through your entire code base it understands the way your code is working and then whatever changes you want to make inside your code base this interactive plan come up with a better solution based on the existing code base you can also do brainstorming and ask questions about your code base then there is this critic agent this is more like a code review agent so now whatever code your main jewel AI agent will write so there is another agent which is like a code review agent that will review your complete code base and then try to find the potential bugs and errors inside your code base also if you're working on any front-end features so you can ask jewel to render that particular screen or let's suppose if you ask you to maybe like create a new front-end screen or maybe any certain UI element you can ask jewel to render that screen so to start using jewels just go to jewel start google and then you can just sign up for the free version you can simply just click on this try jewels button and now you can just like sign up and next step would be now you can actually connect your github repository i have already connected a few github repositories so these were the some of the projects that i wanted Jules to work on if you want to add any new github repository you can simply just click on this add repository and now you can maybe give access to all of your repositories or you can just like give access to any certain repositories so if you just want to like add one more repository you can simply just click on this select repository and now from here you can just like give it maybe ai content humanizer so i can simply just click on this one and I can click on save. Now if I just refresh my Jules dashboard and I can find my AI content humanizer project in here. I can simply select this project and now I can just like give it a task. So because this is one of like an old repository, so I can just ask you to review this code base and find any potential bugs. So I just gave it this prompt, which is please review the code base and find the potential bug. And now after that, I can simply just click on this create plan button or I can simply just like start interactive plan. So this works with Jules to deeply understand goals before plan generation. So I can simply just like maybe start with this interactive plan. I can simply just press on enter and now it will start its working it will start reviewing my entire repository first it will try to understand my code base and then based on that code base then it will like try to review the entire code base okay so now after reviewing the code base now it is saying that i have basic understanding of the application now it appears to be an ai content humanizer that uses a credit system to make my bug hunting more effective so now it is asking different questions what type of bugs you are concerned about so i can just ask you to like maybe generate a complete review report please review the entire code base and present proper review report also suggest wherever the improvement is required so now let's just see what it comes up with right now it is thinking by the way it is using Gemini 2.5 Pro which is kind of a good model I mean not as good as Claude Opus or Claude Sonnet 4 but it's, it's, it's a good model okay so now it has just reviewed the code base and now it is suggesting me these five different improvements to implement and it is asking me to approve this plan so I can simply just click on this approve this plan and now it will go ahead and implement these different fixes you can see it has now started working on these fixes one by one now, and now I can just like do something else while it is completing these tasks and once it will be done with all of these different tasks 
then it will just update me about what it has done as you can see right now it is making these changes in the code base it is showing the old version of the code and the new version of code so i just finished the first task and now it has moved towards the second task so this kind of ai agents can be helpful in certain tasks maybe you just want these AI agents to work on like small features not to complex tasks but small coding tasks but, but basic coding tasks can be done by these AI coding agents so just go ahead and give it a try and let me know in the comment section what you think about this too i see you next video bye bye